The primary concern for us is to make sure that we are delivering good drinking water to our customers. The big thing about flushing is what it does is it simulates usage. If there's not a whole lot of usage in a particular area, then what happens is the water that's in the water mains will just sit there and it won't be moving. And when that happens, that, that's when the chlorine level, which is our, our disinfectant, that's when that will start to, to dissipate. And what they'll be looking for is trying to raise the chlorine and pH levels, you know, get that good fresh water in from our big mains to the smaller ones. I like to think a little bit about maintenance for your car. You know, every now and then you have to change the oils and it uh, flush the radiator, things like that. And our system's the same way. Stuff over time in the pipes scale will build up and build up. It's just a natural process that happens with water sitting in the pipes. It's nothing dangerous there, but it just, the velocity will be less and less. Flushing through and scouring this water through the pipes helps clear all that out and have a better flow in case there was a fire and also crystal clear quality for the citizens. So hydrant flushing is a, it's a routine practice. You know, it's certainly not, it's not any reason to be alarmed or, or anything of that nature. Essentially, you'll get a letter a couple of months before we're in the area and they'll also get a door hanger a couple of days before we're in the area. And this will have the contact information if something does go wrong or questions or concerns that uh, the number to reach us will be on that.